Monaco, we play against a team who is very athletic, uh, offensively orientated. Uh, for sure, they, on the paper, let's say, don't fit to us. Uh, but uh, we still must believe, we must uh, try to, with a good team defense uh, and patient in offense, because they give you, they give you of, uh, options in offense to find the open shot, uh, to maybe surprise them. Monaco was the first, uh, Jalgiris was the first Monaco's opponent after Sasha Bradovic joined the team. And since then they are, in, they are in really good shape. So looking from that game one, what uh, Coach Bradovic implemented that works for this team? Uh, yes, I mean, first game he just arrived, arrived on, the, on the game day or one day before. Uh, I mean, not a lot of things, but uh, the, the maybe he he trusts less players. You know, he rotate less players uh, because they have a lot of players, 15, and uh, mostly he play with the eight, nine players lately. Also in the French league, uh, and uh, definitely give some more uh, freedom to James. Let's say. His cre creativity in offense. Uh, I mean, I know him very well. He's also defensive coach, but you know, he he somehow he adjusts to the team. And like I say before, the, they have really uh, offensively they are really talented, athletic, and uh, you know, some they they just. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I saw him a lot of times that he, you know, he's like a little bit nervous, but, you know, he, he, the team is winning uh, and uh, uh, so, so far he, he, he find a way how, how to do this. As, as you mentioned yourself, uh, offense is Monaco's strong side. They scored here in Konos uh, 107 points. So, uh, what kind of is there any kind of situ situations which makes them uncomfortable in offense or what needs to be done to make them uncomfortable? Uh, okay, this was in overtime, but still, yeah. it's it's <laughs> a lot. Uh, the, a lot of games they play on high high score, also in the French league. Uh, listen, we, we watch our game, we, we, we have some good clips. When, uh, like I said many times, uh, we can stop them with just or limited them, you know, with the with the team defense. Mm, they will try to find uh, for sure our weak spots, you know, defensively, uh, and uh, we must to 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 take this personal. To give extra, uh, to to limit them. Uh, maybe also we should play a little bit more control offense. You know, little even we are not. Uh, I mean, little longer systems to 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 because they are really good on transition offense. To to force them to less uh, possessions, offensive repossessions. Uh, Donatas Mateunas is one of the players who improved uh, under Obradovic. So, what changes or details led to his bigger and more successful role in the team? But, okay, here maybe I will a little disagree. Also, before him, he he play a lot. I mean, I know because we prepare for him uh, very much. Uh, uh, even uh, uh, let's say that. Before maybe they played even more system for him, you know, for low post. Now they uh, they mm, they just uh, you know, it, like I said before, uh, it's a lot of pick and roll or mismatch situations, you know. Or, but uh, he's really the player who who can roll, who can 
play low post, who can pop, shoot, you know, he has all weapons. Uh, he's quite mobile. And uh, like I said before, uh, Brother, we decide to, until now, to, to rot rotate less players, you know, who can trust more. And uh, so far, it looks good. You played yesterday evening, now traveling to Monaco, where you're going to play tomorrow again. Uh, we all know that yesterday's game was uh, postponed due to COVID, but anyway, did I know, do you know, did the club try to speak with EuroLeague about it, whether this game could be played on Friday or to look for some other solution? Look, uh, I'm not the right person to ask this, uh, but I believe they did for sure. I'm also, you know, when ask, uh, I mean, when we talk between coaches, you know, uh, we are really unlucky this year. <laughs> You know, with all these uh, postponed games, uh, injuries, uh, now we go to Monaco, they're waiting for us, you know. They didn't play games yesterday. But uh, what to do? Uh, I still believe tomorrow we will find the, 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 the motivation, strength, energy and concentration to, to play a good game. Speaking of... Uh, on injured players, what updates could you give? Whether Yanis Ternes and Yanis is traveling? Yeah, they are still not 100 percent. They will they will stay both uh, here, uh, and hopefully uh, after Monaco, uh, we have a few days for uh, good recovery. They will join us uh, to 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 start practice next week. You know, all together. Coach, talking about the first game, the huge problem was Mike James, who made a huge performance and a career high with the assist. How to stop this powerhouse, or even possible? Yeah, listen, well, maybe I, uh, we, you know, Mike, he, let's say, uh, he tried to, uh, Maybe we, we was too too concentrated on him, you know, in the in the beginning from the beginning of the game because usually in the clutch moment he take these shots, uh, you know, or uh, he take uh, tough shots, uh, uh, and he the first part of the game he really tried to he's really talented to find the, the open players and. Uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, we must be, let's say, concentrate, you know, on all players and maybe just on the clunch moment, uh, more concentrate on him. Uh, coach, uh, are you worried about your job after such streak of losses? You know what? I, when I come here to 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 the press conference. Uh, uh, I was thinking maybe somebody will ask this question. <laughs> I'm not worried. Listen, uh, this is our. I, uh, I, I try the best, you know. Uh, I have clean conscience, uh, but uh, I mean, normally if you you have so many losses, you know, uh, on, on Euro League, uh, it's it's I think question. It's a good question.